Hey, what's up? Tim Brown. This is What Else Wednesday. And I'm talking about improving your offer. And by you can improve your offer by offering financing. So a lot of people have realized now that if you break, let's say a roof, is that we work with a ton of roofers and other contractors, but a lot of roofers. If you break it down into payments, and let's say offer 150 bucks a month, more people will do it. And yes, some people don't need that because they're getting their roof paid for by insurance, but some people do. And I'm gonna be talking to you a little bit about that. So this is What Else Wednesdays where we talk about what else you should do besides SEO, PPC, and web design. And I've realized now that financing is a huge piece to what makes a great offer in this day and age, if it's not storm damage, if it's not insurance restoration work. And I believe, I personally believe that every roofing company should be offering retail. If they, um, I believe every uh, roofing company would benefit from allowing it. So just gonna talk a little bit about that. So first of all, in marketing, people tell me this all the time, but the, it's true. The offer is everything. And I've had people tell me I needed to improve my offer. Um, Joseph Hughes once told me not that long ago, bro, you need to improve your offer. And so I did. We took what was once a very expensive website project. I gotta get Gypsy in here a little bit. And we made it into a, you know, we broke it down by a year. And even just breaking it down by a year, uh, that that those big payments at the beginning were slowing people down. And so my personal experience with basically financing a website and breaking it down into a, a monthly payment for a year really, really let people, lowered the friction and allowed people to work with us more often. So I'm essentially telling you to do what we did, which is break it down, break big payments down into smaller payments. To me, that is a huge thing. Um, so we know that ads get a better click through rate when you lead with financing, when you say low monthly payments, when you say, you know, starting at 150 a month or starting at 99 a month or something. What's up, Reggie, Reggie reader. What up, bro? Um, Reggie does social media for, for roofers, bro. You know, you know that if you come into my lives, you know that if you come into my lives, I'm going to shout you out and shout out your company. So say what's up in the comments um, and maybe even mention your company if I don't know it. Uh, so ads get a better click through rate when you lead with financing. There's all different ways to do that. So whether it's a Facebook ad or whether it's a Google ad, you can say low monthly payments. You can even say that low number that the, the monthly payments start at. Here, here's the deal. Stop acting like it's just poor people that want free money and low payments. Okay, so stop acting like it's just poor people. Because I think a lot of people have this, this feeling that, hey, Eric, what's up, bro? Eric Richardson, um, he has San Diego Roofing, and, uh, and then, dude, what's the name of your solar company? I know uh, he's got an awesome solar company too. So here's the deal. We got new carpet when we got into this house. We got new carpet. But they just offered financing right away and I didn't, I didn't see the problem with it. So I think it's a little bit of a generational thing. I just don't think that you should act like just because somebody is, you know, has two cars in the, in the driveway that they, sh that they don't want financing. Unified Solar and Roofing. Thank you, Eric. People want financing. And especially in this day and age right now where money is cheap and we'll see how that goes in the next few years, but Money is cheap uh, and you should be allowing people to offer to take financing. And it's not a bad thing. It, it has nothing to do with, you know, whether they're, you know, wealthy or poor or anything like that. It's just giving people that option. It's just breaking it down. It's cash flow. Cash flow is king in the household of today. It's not just king in your in your business. It's, it's king for these, these families that, you know, just want to kind of break things down and make it, you know, smooth and easy. So 
The offer is going to be better if you offer, you know, if you have financing, everything relates to the offer. How we talk about click through rate, right? Click through rate. Do you know what that is? So click through rate is it's your ability. The more people click that ad, the more like, for instance, Google says, okay, this is a good ad. The more people stay on that ad, stay on that page, the better it is for your, your quality score in Google ads. So that's just one place where your offer being very good, like let's say offering low monthly payments, is gonna actually really help the effectiveness of your ads. So I wanna, I wanna say we do have an event, and I'm not gonna sit here and promote this event a ton on this live, but I do wanna mention it once in the middle of the live, which is called One Industry, One Model. It's not just financing. We're talking about financing though a good chunk. We're talking about leadership. We're talking about sales. We're talking about the future of roofing. So Adam Sand will be there. We've got um, Joe Hoffman of Roofal. Uh, the first uh, time in Minneapolis, Dimitri will be there. We got Dustin Beegler in Omaha. We've got a ton of beasts on sales. There we go, Chris. I was like, where's Chris? Bro. I was like, where is Chris Scoville? I'm talking about financing today. So Chris is a great contact for you, a personal contact at a financing company, Service Finance. Um, so I'm going to mix these the, the double promo here. One, come to our event, One Industry, One Model. Two, work with Chris Scoville in the comments. Um, we've, got, uh, we've got a lot of amazing speakers to all along this um, event. We're going all around the country. There's, I think, 11 different events. We've got, and I'll put, the, I'll put the dates in the comments, but I just want you guys to know about this event. I know that I'm promoting it a lot, but here's the deal. If you guys have any questions, let me know. In having financing and offering it up front, not just waiting until somebody says, I don't know about that price. Offering it up front is really good for your marketing. So, Chris, I appreciate that, man. Um, it's gonna help your click-through rate, it's gonna help your close rate, and it's gonna make it a lot easier for you to build out a retail uh, part of your business and not have to rely on storm damage and not have to rely on, on insurance. Here's the deal, a lot of people are really frustrated and annoyed with insurance companies uh, in the roofing space and you don't have to be as annoyed as you are if you get good at this financing messaging. Uh, Chris says affordability and payment options are key. Agreed. So talk to him. Um, I'm just going to recap real quick the things I've said because some of you guys didn't weren't in here at the very beginning. So here's the deal. Offer financing. Improve your offer. The offer is everything when it comes to marketing. Ads get a better click-through rate when you lead with financing and stop acting like it's just poor people that want financing. Um, they want free money and low payments, Okay. And uh, as a wise man, Chris Scoville once told me, people like money. And I have personal experience with this. Here's the deal. We have websites that are pretty expensive. And in July, it's going up to 20K right now. It's like 17,500. People always tell us it's expensive. I get it. We're the best. Um, but <laughs> um, also, we broke it down. So my personal experience is we broke it down. Um, you should offer it up front, bro. Should offer it every single time up front. Okay, excuse me. <laughs> and we started offering it up front uh, to break it down to like 1500 bucks a month. And uh, we got a lot more play. So we got a lot more people closing the deal. Closing the deal. And I want them to close the deal because I believe what we do is the best. And I believe that we are the best at what we do. So as Chris Scoville says, you should offer financing always early and often. You should offer... And maybe the messaging around this should be like flexible payment options. And I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on how else you, you talk about this. You don't have to call it financing. You know, um, just make it feel easy to people to get started. And, and here's the deal. Like, you are doing them a favor. Financing is a beautiful thing. And it's right now, I mean, with the way you know, inflation has been, it's really a good deal for a lot of people. So I don't know, just change your mindset about financing. I am a big fan. I think it helps everything in marketing. And I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments here. I'm going to wait a second um, and just discuss 
if you guys want. Yeah, Eric says the bitterness of qu poor quality remains long after the low price has been forgotten. Ben Franklin was talking about shitty websites, <laughs> exactly. Um, and I am going to uh, plug our, we have a roast tomorrow. We're roasting websites Thursday, uh, June 22nd or June 23rd. It's gonna be super fun, 1130 Central. Reggie says, how does Hook go about payment terms? Yeah, we break down um, websites by, what's up, Diego? Diego Dante, uh, Roofers LLC. I shout you guys out. Come into my lives because I shout everybody out. Uh, Jorge Silva, shit, I should, I'd be designing on Wix, bro. <laughs> bro, I, here's the deal. I believe you should do, a, I believe you can start with whatever website. I'm not, a, I don't push websites on people that are super early in business. Uh, <laughs> But we break our websites down by, 50, it's like 1500 bucks a month right now and it is going up a little bit um, to 1665 in, in July a month for 12 months. So it's not a cheap website, but honestly, it's that monthly payment that really does help because I think a lot of people are just thinking about cash flow and making sure that they can make this money back. Basically, believe, I, I believe our websites make people money and so I want them to have one. Um, I believe we have the most effective websites that I know of and yeah, so I break it down because I want them to have them. I'm not worried about, I'm not worried about the money up front. I'm worried about that long term for my business. I want that long term steady money. You know what I mean? So like, I think just a mindset thing. Um, I know, I don't know. Um, Travis, what's up, bro? Good to see you, Travis. Travis, hey, what's your company, bro? I want to shout it out. Jorge. Silva, what's your, what's your, uh, what's your company? I shout out companies if I know them. I, excuse me if I don't know your company off the top. It's all about the shout outs and these things. I swear to God, because, hey, if I come into a lot, Hail 911, y'all, y'all need to check out Hail 911. And then, uh, Jorge Silva, Team Vision Management. Hail 911, call, uh, they, they do calling. I was just trying to talk to, Travis, I was trying to talk to your boss, bro. Um, or maybe maybe it's your company too, I don't know. But uh, I, was trying to, I was trying to have you guys on the podcast, so say what's up. Ty Cobb, backer in the house. TC backer, roofing. And uh, behind, the to, uh, behind the tool belt, awesome podcast. Travis French, appreciate the morning lives on the way to work. Absolutely, bro. So kind of getting through my content here. Now I'm just doing shout outs. Um, I am grateful for you guys. Anything else you want to talk about related to financing in the comments? Say what's up. Travis says I'll have Jack reach out. Thank you very much, sir. Ty, do you guys offer financing? Curious. And do you offer it early and often and up front? Reggie says, I've actually sussed you guys out. Hail 911. There you go. Hail 911. Get them calls in. I'm trying to understand call, you know, call stuff. I've done cold calling myself personally. I think it's a very good experience for a young professional when I started out my business. And it's funny, I actually cut through a few times and got, you know, conversations and lunches and stuff like that with cold calling. I don't do it now. But I do like when I do like my salespeople trying it, and I do think there is some validity to it. Um, and I think it, it it sharpens you as a salesperson for sure, because you have to have your offer just tight and upfront and quick, like financing. <laughs> Ty says, "Oh yeah, we offer twenty four months, same as cash, plus many other terms." I love that man, and you you offer it up front. That's good. Jorge says, next, what else Wednesday? Use roofing virtual assistants. Stop over hiring. I like that, bro. Is that your guys' business? Team vision management. Uh, Reggie says, love your socials, bro. I'm trying to figure out who's talking. Power content. Travis French says, most definitely. Uh, Reggie Re Reader, how, where do roofers find good ones? Roofing virtual assistants, Jorge Silva. I'm gonna I'm really plug in Jorge over here, but team vision management. All right, y'all. It was really good chatting. 
I'm incredibly grateful for you. And honestly, I try to honor people's time that come in here because I appreciate it very much. It makes these things pop off a little bit. So come in here on What Else Wednesdays and interact with me because I will shout you out. I will shout you out in addition to, last bit, go to One Industry, One Model. Go to oneindustryonemodel.com and go to the event. We are going to have an incredible lineup of speakers talking about leadership and talking about financing and talking about the future of roofing, talking about sales. There's going to be a, a lot of amazing sales insights there and uh, oneindustryonemodel.com. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and have a good one. Charlie Anderson, peace. Appreciate you, brother. DreamWorks Roofing. Get at them. Thank you, everyone.